Hello everybody. Welcome back to our channel, dedicated to all things UK immigration. We hope you're doing fantastic. In this video, we'll delve into the details of the UK government's five-point immigration plan, providing further clarification. To fully grasp all the details, it is crucial that you give your undivided attention and watch the video until the very end. If you find the content valuable, I kindly ask you to show your support by liking the video and subscribing to the channel. Also, make sure to hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. Now, without wasting any more time, let's dive right into the video. Following the UK government's announcement in December 2023 to decrease legal migration by 300,000, there have been recent clarifications that provide more information on how the proposed measures will be implemented. This video delves into the details of the plan, with a specific focus on the health and care visa, skilled worker visa minimum salary thresholds, and the transition from the shortage occupation list to the immigration salary list. 1. Exploring the impact of the health and care visa on workers and their dependents. One of the noteworthy points that has been addressed is how the plan will affect healthcare visa workers and their dependents. Care workers and senior care workers who are already living in the UK prior to the rule changes will still be able to bring their dependents with them. Nevertheless, the recent measures will primarily impact fresh employees who are entering the UK via the health and care visa route. In a significant development, it has been confirmed that individuals arriving on the health social care visa will be exempt from the new salary thresholds. This exemption is crucial for essential health care and education professionals, ensuring their valuable contributions are recognized and supported. 2. Exploring the timeline of minimum salary thresholds for two skilled worker visas. There is a notable inquiry surrounding the December announcement regarding the timeline for the implementation of the new salary thresholds for the skilled worker visa. The government has provided clarification on the introduction of these thresholds, which will be implemented gradually. Beginning in April 2024, the general threshold will see an increase to £29,000 per annum, followed by subsequent increments to £34,500 and finally £38,700. Although the specific dates for the second and third stages have not been revealed, the rates for different occupations will align with the median full-time salaries for skilled jobs. It is worth noting that individuals who are already on the skilled worker visa in the UK will not have to meet the £38,700 threshold when they change jobs, extend their stay, or settle. 3. Health and social care workers, as well as education professionals on the shortage occupations, will be exempt from the new median salary levels. Transitioning from the shortage occupation list to the immigration salary list. The upcoming shift away from the shortage occupation list on the immigration salary list has sparked considerable debate, with the original plan being to eliminate the salary discount for positions on the shortage occupation list. The government has made it clear that these discounts will continue until the new salary thresholds are implemented. Expected to be released around April this year, the issue of keeping such a list has sparked discussion within immigration circles. 4. Understanding the salary threshold for family and spouse visas. In December, the Home Office suggested a significant rise in the minimum income requirement for family visas, bringing it in line with the skilled worker category. Starting at £18,600 and increasing to £38,700 per annum by spring 2024. Nonetheless, it appears that this rise will be implemented in a gradual manner. The starting threshold will be increased to £29,000, black small square gradually reaching £38,700. The exact timeline for these increases has not been revealed yet. It's great news that the additional income requirement for children included in family visa applications has been removed. Black small square this adjustment ensures that family members sponsored by British nationals are not subjected to stricter conditions than migrants. In line with the salary requirements for skilled workers, individuals who are already in the UK through the family route, including those on fiancé visas, or those who applied before the new rules come into effect, will not be affected by the revised thresholds. Nevertheless, individuals in the UK who wish to transition to the family route and have children joining or accompanying them may be required to meet the new minimum income requirements, if these rules are in effect at the time of their application. Black Small Square Review of the Graduate Route by the Migration Advisory Committee. Currently, there have been no updates regarding the review of the graduate route. Keep an eye out for any future announcements from the Home Office regarding the Migration Advisory Committee's assessment of this route. With the changing landscape, 
Recent updates on the graduate route could have significant implications for both recent graduates and employers. Immigration health surcharge fees on the rise. Originally scheduled for January 16, the revised date for the implementation of the immigration health surcharge fee increase is now set for February 6, 2024. After a government debate on January 10, more information is expected to be provided regarding the fee increases. Nevertheless, initial data indicates a notable increase. Prices have increased significantly, with the cost per year per adult now at pound 1035 and the cost per year per child at 776 pounds. As long as the immigration rules are not changed, the current thresholds and policies will continue to be in effect. It is highly recommended for organizations to work closely with their recruitment teams and promptly start the necessary applications, especially when sponsoring skilled workers. In conclusion, it is crucial for individuals involved in or considering UK immigration journeys to stay informed about these recent updates. The gradual implementation of salary thresholds for family and spouse visas, continuous evaluations of the graduate route, and upcoming modifications to the immigration health surcharge fee all contribute to the ever-changing landscape. Successfully navigating these complexities requires active involvement and timely submissions to ensure a seamless and well-informed transition for everyone involved in the immigration process. And that concludes our session for today. What are your thoughts on this video? We would greatly appreciate your feedback in the comments section below. Thank you for taking the time to watch the entire video. I hope you find the information helpful. Until next time, catch you in the upcoming video. Until then, please take care.